Do you want to save money? Do you want to have fun saving money? If you answered yes to both of those questions, keep watching because that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take this money and we're going to use it in savings challenges to get ourselves ahead and hopefully debt free real fast. Keep watching. Just popping in to tell you at the end of this video, you're going to see why I was a day late in filming. Enjoy. Hi, everybody. Welcome and welcome back. Today, we are going to save long term Christmas. We're going to talk about saving money 101. Do you want to start saving money? This is a great tool to help you save money. Then we have our regular everyday save. We're going to talk about save money with the savings and budget community here on YouTube. We have our money. We're going to do some faith challenges and we're bringing in Scrooge McDuck. Wow. That is a lot to compile into one day, but we're going to do it because here on my channel, Donna powered by creativity, what we do is we save money. What I do is I save money to inspire you. I save money every day. I put out a video every day. I balance my, my budget so that I have a certain amount of money to save every single day. By doing that, it gets me ahead in upcoming bills. It's a great process. And I do this to inspire you. All right. What do we have? We have our notebook and inside of our notebook, we have some, some goals. We have a calendar. We have some savings challenges. We have things that we need to talk about. I also have a daily that I have to add into this binder. But what I want to talk to you about is this. Let's talk about this one first. This is a collaboration with so many amazing YouTubers. Some YouTubers are veterans. Some YouTubers will be newbies. What we're trying to do is bring us all together as a community, or what I like to call you is my village, right? It came out of the blue. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, Budget with Mama Bear was on the live with me. Ooh, so sorry. Was on my live. And it's amazing how once you get going, ideas and processes come into play, meaning thought processes. She inspires me. I inspire her. We inspire one another. It came into play that I thought that every Sunday I was going to do a special save with my village. Then I thought, wow, this can get so big. How can it get big? If we got everybody else's community to get involved, <laughs> the goal was this, to see how much money communitively we could save. Oh my gosh, could it be in the hundred thousands? Could we do this as the savings and budget community? Okay, so these are the envelopes. They're linked free in my comment section, my description box below. We have give gen generous, generously, excuse me, I get so excited. Holiday, debt, hold on, self-care, emergency, and oh, poop. These are challenges that we're going to try to save for from now until December 7th. I would love... Love, love, love for you to save what you can afford. It doesn't have to be that $6 every Sunday, Tuesday, or Thursday. Because that's the schedule. Save what you can. Save as long as you can. If you have to take the monies out for emergency purposes, put a paper in here to say that you took it out. But I want you to remember that you saved that money. Because that is a blessing. It truly is a blessing to have saved it. If you have to use it, that's truly okay too. But a 
goal is to save it till the end. Yesterday, Budget with Mama Bear put money into this. Please go check out that video. You will see this design on the thumbnail. Go watch that video. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I need you to go follow this channel. That is the Traveling and Saving Chief. I'm going to, all of these YouTubers are linked in my description box below. Go check them out. All right. Woo. This is so exciting. Let's, let's count our monies. Go into my cute little money envelope. I like fun things. I like things that are um, youthful. I think that challenges need to speak to you. They need to talk to you. If you see them, you like them, you want to use them. That's my, that's my thought process. What do we have? Five, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's 160, 62, 64, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 90, 91. We have $191. <clears throat> what I'd like to do is bring in my cash tray. Ooh, squeak. Let's put our monies in it. And I can't talk too much because then I'll forget that we have $191. I know, that's kind of funny, right? But while you're trying to talk and save and do all these things, we have a tendency of forgetting the moment we are at. It's funny, but we do. I'm going to hide them back there. Inside of this here book, I go to my, I was going to go to February, but it's March. I go to my March calendar. And today, for, for video technical purposes, it is the third. We have $191 we are saving. I can actually say that it was a no spend day. For the days that, and this is my no spend challenge. That's where this um, calendar system comes from. It's on my .com, Donna Powered by Creativity at just.com. These stickers are also there. So what I do is I track my savings and my spending. If I don't spend money, I put a heart. If I spend money, I put a dollar sign. On Wednesdays, for every heart, I give myself $5 to save. But you'll see that on Wednesday. Right now, this is complete, and I'm going to put this aside. The three $2 bills that I brought to the table are for this. I'm not going to tell you where I'm putting this money because that's what Budget with Mama Bear's video is all about. I would like for you to go check her out. Go subscribe to her. Go follow her because everyone that is a part of this brings something special to savings. So I'm going to put this money in here and off camera, I'm going to stuff it where it belongs based on the dice that she rolled in the video. All right. That is golden. Let's talk about this one. This was a bigger savings challenge that I had, and it was asked by one of our villagers to make it into a book. This year, I'm all about the book. When I created my challenges, I wanted them to read like a book, just like this. They asked, Donna, can you please make the Saving Money 101 into a book? I did. It's on my.com. This is a perfect way to save money, whether you're new or a veteran. Start with a $30 challenge. It goes on to a 50 a 105, a 150, and then the big one is a 200. This is now linked, and I, I think that's so important to talk about challenges that help you save money. All right. <laughs> Do we begin? Let's begin with Christmas. I, I feel like I want to begin with Christmas. I think, personally, 
that this needs to be given so much attention because I don't want to be caught behind the eight ball. Last December, this past Christmas, I was so ahead of the game that I wasn't paying Christmas off this year. So I was ahead for 2023. So 2024 gives me extra money to now save. Please, this, this is such an important statement. It really is. It's okay. This is where I get goosebumps in my videos. You're probably saying, Donnie, if you followed me, you're saving a little bit more money than you did in 2023. Here is why. In 2023, I started saving money, spending less money. Spent less money, I was saving more. By saving more, it got me ahead. Got me ahead for Thanksgiving, it got me ahead for Christmas, it got me ahead on bills. Since I'm ahead on those bills, and I'm gonna take Christmas as a true example. Christmas, in years past, would just go on the credit cards, right? It doesn't matter. Just just use those credit cards. Food, toys, gifts, ba 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 ba. Right? So December comes. I use that credit card. Now I overspent. Overspent. And I'd be paying it off in January, February, March, and April. Maybe longer sometimes. But because I saved in 2023, I now have extra money in 2024 that I normally would have to put to credit card debt. If you totally get that <clears throat> statement that I just said, do me a favor. Hashtag the word Christmas. Just hashtag Christmas so that I know you get what I was saying because I'm so passionate about what I just said to you. Okay. I'm excited. Let's, let's get into saving money. I feel like bringing in green. We're taking $20 out of the cash tray and we're saving $20 for Christmas. Each one of my icons, I'm keep, I'm, I'm designating $4 to. If I designate $4, there's 25 icons per page, which will give you a hundred dollar save per page. So I'm going to do 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. I get to color in 5 because 5 times 4 equals 20. I like to do math. I do love to do math. I, numbers excite me more now than when I was younger, right? We have 20, 30, 31, 32 saved towards this challenge. Now, I do not pull the monies from this. This, to me, is its own sinking fund. Yeah, it, it really is. I do have a Christmas sinking fund, but this is going to give me that buffer. It's going to get me ahead. This is now complete for today. I would like to bring Scrooge in. I wanted to show Scrooge some love, and I'm trying to think. I'm going to give Scrooge $10. This is also another book. This is called the Scrooge book on my.com. Just in that question, in that like search bar, put Scrooge. Scrooge will come up and this book will be there. I am now, this was, you know, you could save $100 at your leisure. But for me right now, I want to save $10. So that means I'm bringing $10, not 10 singles, to this party. And I'm going to do color in 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is also an, a challenge that I'm not going to pull until this entire book is done. Why do I do it that way? I don't know. It actually, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It, um, it challenges me to get it completed, right? Uh, 50, 70, 80, 85, 90. That math is mathing because I've got $10 left in this row. It teaches me patience, I too. You know what I mean? This challenge is complete. 
Um, some of these are done. Some of them are started. But I've decided that I want to do. I want to do each challenge at a time. I don't want to bounce. I want to. I want to take this one and finish it. This one happened to be done. Then I want to move on to the five dollar Donald Duck ones and do this, and then move on. It's almost like the Dave Ramsey snowball effect. It's also like you know just. A waterfall for me. Color in the lines. I don't know. It just works. This is still out because we do have our faith uh, challenge in here. So I keep my calendar system in this uh, happy planner. And then I do keep bigger challenges. So bigger challenges is this is a, uh, a Friday challenge. These are my current challenges. These are called dividers. They're over on my dot com. These are my Wednesdays, these are my games, and then I do have my faith challenge back here. So I'm gonna take faith, and in my faith book, I did bring $15 for faith today. Faith is going to get $15, and for me, that is the shoulder wound of Jesus. I do have a faith section on my dot com. If, if that's something that you would be interested in, go check it out. I do have some other designs in my brain. I'm going to color in each cross for me is $5. You make them any denomination you want. I am going to color in three of these crosses. And I'm going to save $15 extra on Sundays for faith. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We should have $30 inside of here. 10, 25, $30 saved. Then what I really need to do is this. Can't put this away because we still need it. I need to put Steamboat Willie inside of my book. I know that if I turn my head, my voice goes out on my um, microphone. I am looking into a new microphone. So if that is something that has been bothering you, no problem. I'm going to rectify the situation as best I can. Because this is a pretty good microphone. It must be the settings. It must be me. Steamboat Willie is going to come into play on a daily. And for me, I'm going to make him the last page. We're still going to need him. So honestly, I'm going to leave him right here. Sundays. For me, Sundays is all about this journey. This has been an amazing journey for me. This is the 52-week challenge journey. I did, this is on my.com, you, you print it, you cut it, and you can punch holes in it, or you can just leave it as is, do it whatever way you'd like. But when this journey began, it reminded me of old school um, Christmas clubs and things like that. So I had, I had started this journey. I'm so impressed with this journey. I did not know I can do this. I pushed myself. Started this on September 23rd with $50 a week. Did I think that I could save $50 a week? I did not know. I, I thought that my other challenges were going to be um, affected by it. But it's amazing that once you start saving, you realize you've got money to save. So last week was the 25th of February. We finished that date. So today for all is um, it's March 3rd, and we're going to mark March 3rd, 2024. And this would be week number 25. 25. We are not at the halfway point. This next sat Sunday will be. I'm going to save $50. My previous balance was $1,200. $1,200 was in there. 
I now have $50. Total saved will be $12.50 in my envelope. I'm going to just secure this so that it's on the next page when I need it. I'm going to grab that challenge envelope, which is right here. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to grab that $50 bill that we brought today. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve hundred and fifty dollars saved. This is awesome. One hundred percent awesome. I am so excited I have this. Now, for me right now, if needed. That could be an emergency fund. I hope that I don't need it and that I can leave it there for the entire 52 weeks. Ah, oh, that would be awesome. Now we get into our dailies. Roger Rabbit holds, love this, Roger Rabbit holds my daily challenges. Why? Because this silly rabbit makes me super excited. I think he makes me, it's his energy that comes through. I am truly a kid at heart. We have Lent. I'm going to do pink today. Today would be the third, third Sunday of Lent. Wow. We, we're, Lent is coming real quick. Third Sunday of Lent. Now on the Sundays, I choose to save $5. I, I'm saving the denomination that matches the date, but because you put Sundays in the date, then I want to explain this just a little better. So Ash Wednesday would have been one and each day up until Sundays carries a date. That's why there's 40 days of Lent because we have to, we have to take out the, the Sundays and treat them as holy days. So they don't count as the 40 days of Lent. So really there are 45 days in Lent, but we count it as the 40 days. It's a, it's a spiritual calendar. All right. I choose to put $5 per, per Sunday. Inside of the 40 days of Lent for myself is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Fifteen hundred and fifty one dollars saved with Lent. This is amazing. This is going to be a wonderful save for the month of March. It started in February, but it won't complete until March. So this is going to be such such an amazing um, addition to my savings for March is what I'm trying to get at. Which, ooh, not that one. Ooh, grab the wrong one. Holy moly. I would like to grab my red marker. And today for emergency, I thought this. I would like to bring $30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the 10. The other 10 makes 20, 25, and 30. That when I get an extra 20, I just have to bring the 20 in. So I'm taking 20 and 10 is 30. A lot of different savings going on today. I, I, some things are not given their own specific date on my channel day. And a lot of things get daily love. Bigger challenges for me get done every day. Why? So I can knock them out. It's just... It's a, it's a snowball effect for me. What do we have in emergency so far? 10, 20, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. We're at the halfway point with this. $5 sent us over. We have $550 inside of emergency. 
$505. Whoa. All right. Truly an important, if, if any challenge is important, it is this one. So, so important. Yes, it is. Roger Rabbit came into play because Roger comes in either a $1,500 or a $500. I wanted Roger to be blank. Now, you don't have to roll the dice with him. You could put the, your own numbers in. If you have an extra $3 one day, throw $3 in there. You can make Roger Rabbit the blank one any way you want it. That's the best part about this one. For me, Roger Rabbit is a roll the dice. What do we get to do? We get to bring in our princess tower and we're gonna roll, we're gonna roll a die. I'll do one today, but I kind of like the way it, it kind of, they mix up inside of it and shoot out. So Roger gets two today. So one, two, I'm gonna grab a pen. I'm gonna put $2 there. Let's see how much Roger has inside of it. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21. So that's 210, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Did I do that right? 20? $220 inside of Roger Rabbit. Wow. That is cool. $220. Love it. Steamboat Willie. What did I bring for Steamboat Willie? Willie, I brought $10 with me. I'm trying to knock out, and this is, this is how I do things, right? I kind of stagger my thoughts on what gets money and how much it gets, right? Based on completion, how much is left, and what other challenges do I have going on? So because Lent eventually is going to be asking for 20s, 30s, and 40, right? I have, I, I, I can bring that to the table, but something else has to not be in play or it might not get as much love. So for me, I was going to do Steamboat Willie on a daily, like, you know, one, two, I was going to count backwards, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then do it again and do it again. But I want Steamboat to stay in play also. I hope you're understanding this. So what I've decided to do was midway through, I've decided to change it up. Change things up to get them accomplished. I am bringing $10 for a few days, as long as I can, until those 20s, 30s, 40s kick in on Lent. Lent is my priority. That has to be done on a daily, just like the, the Christmas Advent calendar had to get done, 1 through 25. There is no missing, missing there. So today I am bringing $9 to Steamboat Willie, but I've decided to bring an extra dollar to just round up to be 10. I am going to give this nine and I'm going to come down here to this one. And this Steamboat Willie is going to get $10 today. And that's how I'm thinking I can get this accomplished. 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 77 dollars towards a 165 save. Fires. I'm bringing five. I'm going to bring five for a while, and then maybe when Lent is done, I hit this hard. Just so I can give my hubby what I wanted to gift him. Right? If you don't know that story, let me know and I will I will bring it to your attention. It was an, it it was I had to take the money that this challenge had and use it for something else, which happens. It truly happens. All right, what do we have left? That's something. Lent 
roll the dice, Steamboat Willie, tires. Um, I wanted to give this Roger Rabbit, uh, I wanted to give this Roger Rabbit $10. But we only rolled the dice for two. So that means he gets eight, because that, I'm um, sorry, wait, two? Um, no, it doesn't. Um, we bring six, so he gets 14. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna give him 15, right? I'm gonna give him 15 because I want to give, I know what, there's extra money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I wanted to add to my extra money that goes for when I ring the bell or if say a challenge is just about to can be completed and I need the extra money or scratch offs get me. Sometimes on my channel, when I do scratch offs, they could be a little sneaky. So this here is the money for, actually, you know what? I did borrow the, the, the paper clip that used to hold this. And I'm thinking that my boyfriend needs to be in control of this money. If you are new to my channel, I, I have a husband, I do but I also have a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm just laughing hysterical. Just so you know, this is my boyfriend and my husband is very much okay with it. He is near and dear to my heart. So my boyfriend will be protecting my money. And if you didn't know this, this is my prop money. And there's a whole section of prop money, but he is, Actually, a $100 bill is my favorite because look at that. He's smooching me. He's smooching me. All right. That is truly, that made me laugh. And I hope that, okay, for my village, my, my, my girls that have been with me for a very long time, if that made you laugh, do me a favor. Give me the hashtag laugh or, or, or emoji that's laughing. Right? That works. Let's show this Roger Rabbit just a little bit more love than we normally do. Let's give him 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. I don't think we have an 18 in there. So how about we do how about we do 15? I think that would be fun. Let's do 15. Ooh. I don't know if there was a three. 15, oh, there is a three. I like to do the next one, right? And this is, the, this is the closest. 15 and three makes 18. I don't know, I just felt like giving him a little extra love today. He gets the scraps. <laughs> yeah, that just came from I don't know. But he definitely gets the scraps. What's, what's left is what he gets. Just popping in to tell you at the end of this video, you're going to see why I was a day late in filming. Enjoy. Since Roger Rabbit gets the scraps, he has two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, 110, 15, 16, 17, 18, 118 in Roger Rabbit. Okay. We are done for the day. Today is going to be a two video day because I'm catching up. Keep watching because I have some reasons at the end of this video why I did not film yesterday. All right, see you in the next one, bye. Hi everybody, I thought I would share my current situation. Do you see, I told you that my washing machine um it sounded like the pump wasn't working so i'm gonna turn you around and the washer and dryer are out of my hi you want to come in i'll let you in in a second okay ah, get off that door it is 60 degrees out 60 60 60 all right so my washer and dryer is out this is my tiny little laundry room Ha, huh, gotta dust, gotta vacuum, gotta clean. We have to organize, wash the walls. I am in rare form right now. 
I am extremely busy. <laughs> but I thought it would be fun if I just showed you my chaos, right? So, like I said in the last video, the guys didn't get done with the bathroom. I'm going to try to include that. Come here. You want to go out? Come here. He won't walk past things. Come here. Come on, you're allowed. He needs permission. But anyways, I'll show you the unfinished bathroom later. My goal is to get this done and then get upstairs to paint the cabinets. TJ says he can come tomorrow to help Vinny carry the cabinet that's down here up. So let's see how much we get done. It's 60 degrees out. Johnny went metal detecting with George. So excited because when John goes out and has a good day, I get to have a good day here and get so much done. He's like, I'll help you. Come on, I got a half an hour before I go. I go, no, 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 please go. But what he did do was he had the blower on the front porch, so he blew this out for me. So it's all, it's all emptied. All right, let me get back to work. We are outside. Do you hear? It's filling up with water. And I have the glass top, so I can see it's actually filling up with water. I took it out here, I checked the pump, it wasn't anything like stuck in the drain, right? But the drain wasn't the problem. It was the fill that was the problem. So the hoses ran. We're over here, right? I took the hose off. I shot water through it. So I knew that the hose was not clogged, but then I looked inside of these filters. This one was gunked up, but you know what it was gunked up with? Fabric softener. It was green. I um, I took this out, right? And honestly, I, I just globbed it on the floor. I'm looking on the floor to see if I can actually see it. But it was, it smells just like fabric softener and it gunked up. So right now I am running a uh, soak. I do have John's blanket in there. So what I'm gonna do is after it's done with this soak, which is 23 minutes, I'm gonna make sure that the water fills up and then I'm gonna actually do the load out here. And I can do the load out here because as long as this is somewhere, like, um, see this? I can actually, ha, don't get dizzy. As long as I have it, I should be able to put this so that it's not near the electricity. Like, I'm okay, right? You know what I mean? I'm gonna, I don't care if the rug gets wet. That's why I'm outside and Hopefully, I don't have to buy a new washing machine yet, but I will have a sinking fund for it, and it will be on the list of things to get once I start paying down all of the debt, meaning the bathroom, the car, and all that other good stuff. All right, keep watching, and I'll let you know if it works. You want a quick tour? I'm okay. So, it's actually very pretty out. Look at that sky. It's green, right? Looks green, the sky is perfectly blue. My neighbor is actually cutting wood. The Ford is sitting, the old Ford is sitting right there. Um, Johnny's gonna go to the mechanic tomorrow, drop him off money. Um, yeah, but you know what's funny? This is like, um, this is like a tease because it's still March. And March can get very crazy. Comes in like a lion, goes out like, comes in like a lamb and goes out like a lion, right? They say. Tiger. I actually came outside today. Okay, so you see her hair. She misses, but it, it's not missing. It's just shorter. It's from her laying on it so much. She doesn't move around very much. She's a, she's a big girl. But she comes outside. She, you know, she's all good. So she's enjoying it. Do you hear it? I hear it. I'm gonna go wash the floor in the laundry room. And I am going to maybe reorganize some of the cabinets as I listen to this. But you can actually see the water is now coming in. I will, you know what? Oh. I'll have to test the hot water side. But I don't have any hot water here. I can test the hot water side, that's fine. But look at that, it's working. Today is the next day. I cleaned everything. I mean, I scrubbed this house from top to bottom. These are things that I need to paint, right? But look, my kitchen is back to normal. I, I worked so hard yesterday. I washed rugs. 
I mop floors. I put things away that was on this counter forever. No wash machine, no dryer in here. I put my laundry room back together. So it's all ready to go. I did like four loads of laundry. Everything worked out fine. And actually that that is still drying. Or it's probably dried by now. It's not a bad day out. I actually have a candle going, right? I did. I cleaned, I vacuumed, I washed floors, I dusted the only thing. And I was actually sitting here today. And we'll just quickly put... This is where I like to sit because my I sit up straight here. That's where my tablet is. Okay. Now I asked the boys and I cleaned up... I cleaned up this hallway. I asked the boys if they can come and move this upstairs. Let me let me get you a better view. Huh. Do you see this sucker? It's huge. This has to go upstairs to my bathroom. So I took the doors off, and it's really not a heavy piece. And I think that when Vinny, um, Vinny wakes up, I'm going to ask him to carry it upstairs with me. Let's go upstairs. I actually... I actually wiped down these stairs. Like I literally came in with wet cloths and I vacuumed and then I wiped down. Then look, I'm not putting anything back in, in front of this yet because the cabinet has to come upstairs and then hopefully soon the mattresses have to come out of my room. All right, I'm gonna show you my messy bedroom which is still driving me crazy. Hi, look at you. He's got clothes on and his bedding was washed, but I have been sleeping with boxes on the bed. It's just, it's easier, but okay. I'm gonna turn the lights on and I'm gonna show you where we're at in the bathroom. <gasps> look, I have a floor, okay. They put the vanity back in. I took the doors off and stuff, and I have to paint this. Then the light fixtures are in. Yes, they're two different lights. Wanted to see what colors I liked. That's just a temporary. And because it's makeup, I think I might want to go with the brighter of the two because when you, girls are putting on makeup, that's what you want. I did paint the other day, but look, the shower heads are in, and this is the shower. I'm gonna do one side, and then I'll do the other side. Ta-da! And then, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And then when you go up on this side, there's the rain shower and the regular shower. They ran into a glitch on Saturday. This device is supposed to control like so many different things, but for some reason it wasn't controlling this and it sent them, you know, into a little bit of a, oh my goodness, I can't get it done sort of a thing. So we still have to work that out. John is actually at the plumbing supply store today. They have to sand that and then I'll finish painting it. This is the new toilet bowl, which is taller for people, like, you know, for people with bad backs. They did spray paint the piping to make it look like the fixtures, but do you love the floor? I love, 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 love the floor. And that tall cabinet is gonna go here, right? It's gonna go here, and I usually put IKEA curtains up around the tub to give them like this, like, you know, pretty ambiance sort of a thing. And if you look right here, hold on. Can't wait for my room to be back. This here cabinet is a double. I'm gonna show you again. Bear with me. I don't vlog, so if I'm getting you nauseous. Oh, I forgot I had the windows open all night. Oh, that's okay. The windows are open. So when you're sitting on the John, <laughs> this wall is where that cabinet's gonna go. Because, come on ladies, you know, there's never enough storage space, never. 
that's where we're at. Um, I'm not sure when Billy's gonna come back, so what needs to be done? The countertops are gotta come in. I did carry up the sinks. The faucets are already up here, right? The faucets are up here. My tabletop is still a mess. But you know what? It's, it's coming to a closure, and then I will deep clean this room and, I mean, deep clean this room and get it back to normal. Yep. But that's where we're at. Do you, do you, let's go. Like, okay, this is so disarray and it's messing with me, but do you love it? I hope you love it. I'm loving it. Thanks for watching. See you guys.